G'day, it's Michael here from Tech and Tools, and today we're going to be looking at installing the TP Link AX3000. Um, this is a Wi Fi 6 Bluetooth 5.0 PCIe adapter card um, for, and I'm going to be putting in my PC. Um, my unfortunately, my motherboard did not come with Bluetooth when I bought it. It's a bit of an older one. It's an AX370 gaming from Gigabyte motherboard. Um, so to obviously benefit from the use of wireless uh, like Bluetooth devices, you know, like my um, at the moment, I've got this wired in, which is a Sony um, headphones. So I should be able to utilize that. Um, this has got Wi-Fi 6 capabilities, so let's have a little unboxing and we'll go through um, how to install it, which is very simple. It's just like installing a mini graphics card. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Okie dokie, let's have a look at this. So, yes, as I said before, Wi-Fi 6, um, wireless Bluetooth. So um, let's open it up and have a look what we get in here. Oh. Alrighty. So straight out of the box, usual stuff. Oh, it's smaller than I thought it would be. Oh, so we've got the card in an anti-static bag. Uh, we've also got a little adapter here. I'd say this would be some power for it. We've got two antennas, which will obviously just get the back of the PC. Uh, we've also got an adapter plate here for smaller card slots. So if you look on here, you've got bigger card slot which was what this is what I'll be using but you also have the ability to swap it over to the smaller slots so, and of course really they're still supplying CDs in 2020 okay and a little uh, quick installation guide let me guess what it says unplug your computer plug that in put it in the computer Turn everything back on. Install the drivers. Ah, there we go. So, hmm, right there. Pair with Bluetooth devices. Ah, all right. So, you know, that looks pretty simple, straightforward. So, we'll keep that out. Oh, what the hell? Well, I've got an actual DVD, some, like optical drive in there. So, we'll get, keep that out. So, the main card itself. very small so that'll install on the computer if you're looking at my PC here it'll install like that so it obviously needs a power supply which is what this is for yes there we go okay so I've just pulled the plug out powered it down pulled the plug out um, and we'll just take off this side panel And it's going to go in here somewhere. So unfortunately, Batman, you can't live there anymore. You're going to have to go somewhere else, dude. So as the instructions say, you need to plug this in, which goes that way. There we go. So we'll get this plugged in first. Got to find a. Uh, we got a hole for this. This may be a problem. Hmm. It's a card reader. So I'm going to unplug the card reader, which is this one here. And we'll plug the other one back in. So I'm 
to je za ní. Was a decent torch when you need one. Never around. Just like police. They're around when you need them. Alright, so that's in there. And the next thing to do is pop the card in. So. going there and then the last thing I need to do is just install a screw so I'm gonna go and have to find one of those I'll be back and there we go so so you can see we have the card in I disconnected a card reader, which I never use, which sits up in here, like an SD card, um, you know, memory card reader. We'll sit this down here, all nicely, tuck in there. That looks neat. And you know what? I think you can go back in there, Batman. He's like, I'm Batman. <laughs> Anyone who loves Batman, you'll get that joke. All right, so now it's time to put the side cover back on, boot it up, install some drivers, and see if it all works. Okay, I thought I'd just quickly pop into um, my PC here and show you where I've got this from and how much it was. Um, I bought this from um, eBay, so we'll just click on the other screen here um, yeah I mean I buy a lot of stuff from eBay here in Australia um, I just find it convenient shopping from home we don't really I don't really use Amazon and stuff like that um, a lot of stuff in Australia can't be bought from Amazon it's not available in Australia it's kind of annoying um, so yeah so this cost me $85.95 Australian um, and it got here in about a, well, just under a week actually um, so I generally try to buy things from Australia. Um, when I look at my item listings, I usually, you know, try to get them from Australia if I can. Um, it's usually quicker, a lot quicker, especially at the moment with all the COVID-19 stuff. Um, so, yeah, pretty good price there. I thought it was, you know, interesting, you know, there's dearer ones, there's more expensive ones, less expensive ones. So, yeah, let's um, let's get into it. Okay, we've got the um, the card installed, the um, the TP-Link AX3000 card installed, and instead of using the uh, DVD supplied um, for your optical drive, well, I don't know why they still add them because these days you don't generally download most things off the internet. So, for example, I have gone to TP-Link website, and oop, I got back. This is a download center, and you simply type in here a uh, model number, which is the Archer TX50E. Archer TX, yep, TX50E. So we'll click on that, um, and I guess you go to drivers. So Bluetooth, and there's a Wi-Fi driver. So we'll start with a Bluetooth. Click on that, and it will do its download thing. And you just follow this process through both the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. Okay, so this is the Bluetooth side of things. So, as I said before, you open up this. Um, let's just download this. Open up the TP-Link website. Um, download this um, open it up and eventually you know you'll get to the screen where you need to do the setup so we'll set up yes typical install and let it go through its process there's that's the Bluetooth there's also a Wi-Fi one so 
shouldn't take long. It's a bit quicker as well than actually using the. Yep, that's finished. And then we'll do the Wi Fi one. <laughs> that's, that's it. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Install. So it's the wireless software. So there you go, we're going to restart required, so we'll restart now. Okay, so we've installed both the Bluetooth and the uh, Wi-Fi drivers, apparently. We've done the restart, and so let's check it out. I want to go there, I want to go open the internet, so we go adapter options. Ah, so there we go, Bluetooth. And Wi-Fi, Intel, so that we go, there we go. So it's not connected yet, because I've got to put in the password, which I will do. Okay, it took me a while to figure out what the problem was. What I needed to do was I needed to, when I turned this on, this particular headset, I had to go through the internet and just have a look. So on his website, how to do it. But um, I have to turn it on and hold down the actual on button, so it goes into pairing mode. And then I could um, show you here, then I could right click on here, add a Bluetooth device and it would work so right now we've as when i click on here because i wasn't getting this here which is my so this here is my um sony wh 700n is a wireless headset so now that's connected and it works fine um so that's the second thing done so yeah very good very happy now um so now that works and it's very loud um, I am very happy so yes there we go they now work yes I have no head on and yes I have no hair by the way so took a bit of time but there you go it goes to show that uh, I thought oh this is gonna work but um, eventually what I did was I just I googled uh, pairing my particular headset with Windows 10, figured it out, you know, I've read a few things, I had to work through a few problems to get it to work. You know, nothing's always as seamless as possible. Um, when you're working with phones, iPhone phones or tablets and that, things are a bit more seamless, but with the computer stuff, sometimes it's not. So, anyway, there we go. So, there is the installation and connection of the TP-Link AX3000 Wi-Fi and Bluetooth PCIe adapter Bluetooth wireless card whatever you want to call it um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video guys um, hit that like and subscribe button until next time see you later